Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a drugstore haul slash first impressions and yeah. So you guys know every January the drugstore just unleashes everything um, for like the new year and blah blah blah. I picked up a bunch of new stuff and um, yeah, so I just want to share with you what I bought and do kind of like a first impression demo video so if you guys are interested then keep on watching if you guys like this video please don't forget to subscribe like this video and comment down below with any other videos that you guys would like to see next so here we go into the tutorial slash first impressions i am wearing all of these products on my face right now and i know my lashes are crazy it's I, I don't know why I picked them up. I was like, ooh, those are kind of interesting. Like individual thick lashes. I've never seen that before. I wonder what they would look like. And y'all know I don't really go for thick lashes. I go for kind of like wispy, natural-ish looking lashes. Just like long and, you know, fluttery and wispy is kind of like what I go for. And anyway, so the lashes that I'm talking about are these Kiss lashes. Sorry, I'm like trying to... Trying to there. So the lashes that I'm talking about are these lashes, and no, I I would not recommend these unless this look is kind of like your thing. You like short, thick, dense lashes and individuals. And for me, I don't find individual lashes any easier to put on than like a full strip of fake lashes. I prefer a full strip because for me, it's just really, really, really easy to put on. I notice that when I use individual lashes, I just throw them away. I don't even save them to reuse them. I just, I despise them. I don't know why I bought these. I just thought again, ooh, these are thin and there's my clock going off every hour. <laughs> Sorry. Next. So this product, the first product that I put on my face after moisturizing, of course, is a product that has blown up over YouTube. And it's the Nivea Men After or Post Shave Balm Insensitive. And it blew up because of Nikki Tutorials. I will be honest, this is not the first time that I've used it, but I have used it while I was at work. And it is amazing. No joke. Not only did it not I just spit. Not only did it not make me break out, but this kept my foundation on. Now, I, for those of you who know, I am a nurse. I do 12-hour shifts, so therefore my makeup is on at least 15 hours. The point when I put it on to the point when I take it off. About 15 hours and legit. It looked like I had worn my makeup for maybe 5 hours. And it was like a light, slightly oily, like in my like T-zone area. And like my t-zone area but it was nothing that was annoying i was wearing masks throughout the night and none of it came off it was so amazing how much this primer <laughs> how much this primer actually clung onto my foundation to the point where i was putting masks on and it didn't take off any of my makeup none of it rubbed off and it was just so i am so impressed by this and dude Definitely, definitely try this. $5 primer and you get 100 mLs for $5. Just, it's amazing. It's so good. The next product that I used on my face was this. It's the new L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. And I don't see any parabens or like bad things in here. So I don't know. This is the first time I've used it. I picked it up in the color N55. Right now it kind of looks like it's a good color. Um, but when I first put it on, it just, it was super light. Um, I probably need to go in with W5.5, but I don't know. I, I really like the texture of it. It really makes your skin look like skin. It's not full coverage. Um, I guess you could build it up, but when I tried to build it up, I noticed that whenever I would put like my finger on my face, you know, like when I was like drawing my eyebrow or whatever, I would have an imprint of like makeup that just got rubbed off by like my thumb on my face or however I hold my pencil. So that's what I noticed and nah, I didn't really like that because again, if I'm like hugging someone or I'm hugging my babies, probably it's going to transfer. That's 
basically what that means so this is not transfer proof um, but I would recommend this if you're wearing it to like the drugstore and you just want something to even out your skin tone this is a great foundation it is pricey like everyone says but right now at Walgreens where I bought it it's usually $17 and they have like a $2 in-store coupon and the cashier was nice enough to give me $1 off because she had like coupons in like her coupon box I think she called it so technically this was only $14 which is pretty good but still like $17 for a drugstore $14 still kind of pricey um but yeah and I really like the it, the way it made my skin look it doesn't look super matte but it does look kind of like luminous so I do appreciate this but I wouldn't recommend it if you're like you know, I don't think this foundation is like special event makeup or long wearing makeup. This for sure probably doesn't have the longevity for it. Other products that I tried for the first time are the Maybelline Master Conceals Concealer. Um, I got the color in medium and light medium and I mixed them together. I used the medium first on my under eyes just to conceal my dark circles and then I used the light medium on top of it to like give me some brightness. Now, I did use medium in like the middle of my eyes, like where I do have some breakouts and just these fuckers don't want to hide. And this stuff unfortunately didn't really do a great job of hiding it. It did mask it a little bit, but I can still see it and that pisses me off. So I know I need like some salmon concealer or whatever, but this stuff just didn't cover that up as far as hiding my dark circles. I think it did a pretty good job, but already it's only been like 30 minutes after first applying this and I'm already starting to crease and I did um, I did set this immediately after. So um, I would expect some creasing throughout the day. So even with these concealers about them like creasing or whatever i even use a l'oreal revitalift micro blur miracle blur instant eye smoother and it's about like six dollars at walgreens um this works really well with the mac pro longwear concealer i did not crease so i would put this mac pro longwear like kind of you know push it into my skin and then immediately set it and i didn't see any creasing with this but using this today in conjunction with the maybelline master conceal i i already see creasing so uh, i think it's this because this stuff works really great next is the l'oreal brow stylist brow definer or something yeah um and then this is in the color dark brunette this product has been compared to the anastasia brow Wiz, and in my own opinion i think that this pencil is a little bit more waxier than the brow wiz which can be good and bad it is good because you do get a lot of color payoff with just a few swipes and minimal pressure and it's also great because you'll see me very shortly use the product that's already on my brows and i'm able to manipulate that with a brush so you don't really need a whole lot of product using this and that's like the great advantage and it's affordable compared to the Anastasia which is like $20 so you do get that high-end retail cost but um, would I recommend this? Absolutely. I think it's a great product. Here you can see that I am manipulating the product on my eyebrow with my eyebrow brush and I really like the way it came out doing this way. If you don't have the time to do this then you know you don't need to use that much product to begin with but i really like this product and i would definitely definitely recommend it so the next product that i went in with is the new infallible matte matic eyeliner and it comes in a package like this and i use the color ultra black of course and it is a gel cream formula now I have used this product before and I did use it at work and this stuff is pretty amazing. It stays super black. Um, it's great for like tight lining your upper waterline um, but it does transfer to like your lower waterline to make it like uh, like you'll see like a little bit of pigment on your um, on your lower waterline. If you're not a fan of that then um, this isn't for you but for me it doesn't bother me. I feel like it just gives me a little bit more definition than like I would if I just didn't have anything else on there but I do enjoy this pencil it is a retractable pencil and it's super black so oh oh hell no 
but it breaks really easily. So yeah, it is super black, but it it is a dry formula. So um, a product that I have loved is the LA Girl uh, Gel Liner in very black, and it's super matte. It's like three dollars, I think, and I think this might have been seven dollars. And that pencil never breaks on me, so I don't know. And today for my bronzer uh, slash contour, I guess I used the new Rimmel London, the new Rimmel, the new Rimmel London Kate Golden Bronze Palette, I guess. Um, and it looks like this. This was on sale for like five dollars, and the contour powder is what I use on my face today. The blush I use, and the highlight is what I use. And you guys can see like it's it's pretty reflective and I I am digging that uh, for my lipstick today it's this really nice like reddish brown color and it's one of the new Revlon matte bombs and this is in the shade fierce 265 and I really like this color I think it's a really nice like red brown almost kind of like not a brick but like I don't know I really like it it's a nice brown and I have a 90s party coming up and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be using this for sure um, this is what it looks like so yeah I think it, it's really comfortable on the lips um, yeah it's just comfortable it has that really nice like peppermint like minty flavor that the other Revlon matte bombs have and yeah I think Revlon wasn't having a sale so I paid full price for that I think that's it so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos listed here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye.